I'm here today with Tomas Adamak at his media workout. And um, Tomas Adamak, how's your train, training going right now? It's good, you know. We have still two weeks sparring and uh, training with, with coach. And I'm almost ready. Many believe that you're going to walk right through Matt alone. What do you say? This is my opponent, you know, I'm prepared very hard since this uh, seven weeks with Roger. You know, I'm ready on top fight. Uh, we will know uh, in December 9 how uh, the fight we're looking. Yeah? Benny Matt alone said that his, bru um, that his blueprint to fight, to, to fight you is to fight fast. Apply a lot of pressure. And if you want to brawl with him, he's going to brawl even harder. Yeah, I'm ready. And everything, you know. Uh, defense, uh, you know. Uh, we, we prepare with Azure to every, uh, to every opponent, you know. You know, it's when uh, I have, uh, I, when I have attack, I'm attack, you know. When I, I need uh, defense, I can fight in defense. Right. Matt alone said that he understands that he's entering a very hostile territory. But by the end of the fight, there are going to be more Polish fans for Vinny Matt alone than for <laughs> Tomas Adam. You know, what do you uh, have to say about that? You know, uh, I'm, uh, I can fight in everywhere. No, I'm fighting in uh, California before, before you know, um, uh, with Chris Aureola. Uh, I'm fighting in uh, Deutschland, you know. Uh, for me, it's no problem fighting, you know. I'm very happy I am fighting here. I have more fans than Matt alone, but Ring is the ring, you know. If you want to win, you go to ring and fight. Right. There's rumors, of, the rumors are circulating right now that Roy Jones Jr. have agreed to fight you sometime in March. What can you tell us about that? And have you signed that contract yet? You know, we're in negotiation with uh, Klitschko, David Hay, uh, and Roy Jones. You know, if we don't get title fights, uh, I will fight him with Roy Jones. This big name famous fights in the United States on the world. I'm ready. He's a smaller man. How is, um, would you be, would you be fighting, would you take in a, would you take a fight with um, Roy Jones Jr.? You know, uh, I have uh, my team, it's my boss uh, negotiation, you know, I'm okay fighting with everybody, you know, we if you we... Madalone first. Madalone What's that? So we're just worried about the Madalone fight. All the rest of the stuff will yeah. take care of itself. Do you feel um, that you would want to be, uh, do you try and put on extra pounds, like now that you're in the heavyweight division for the past few years, there are a lot of bigger guys, do you feel like pressure to, to put on more pounds or do you like being no, as well? Maybe I have uh, less than the uh, last fight, uh, 218, 217 I have now. I have to be quick, you know, uh, we're working every day with Roger and the pets, uh, Roger say me every time, no, you don't want me hard, mm -hmm. only quick. Right. Speed is power. So you feel comfortable fighting larger men? And, and yeah. Well, why would, um, you know, I know you guys are concentrating on Matt alone, but, you know, ever since this rumor started spreading about Roy Jones Jr., um, my question to you is, um, why, Roy's, why, why Roy Jones Jr.? I mean, why he's coming off, he's coming off uh, a loss against Hopkins. He's a smaller man. So... He has a style very very similar to Hayes, or so Hayes has a similar style to him. Any other questions? Yeah, Tom, I have a question. Um, Matt alone said that he's going to dictate the pace of this fight and that he's going to wear you down with his pressure. I just want to see your response to his statement. You know, uh, I'm fighting my, my style, you know. I'm, uh, I'm fast. Uh, condition is very good, you know. We prepare, I told, uh, seven weeks. Mm -hmm. We have uh, more two. I'm already on uh, every fight, you know, uh, defense, uh, attacks, you know. This the ring is uh, arena where we can show uh, our class. You know? Why do you feel a fight with David Hay hasn't been coming close to even being a uh, contract? You know, uh, Ziggy, uh, yeah, uh, Ziggy talked uh, <laughs> yesterday, you know, he, you? he talked with manager uh, Roy, manager uh, uh, Klitschkos. But the Klitschkos and uh, we negotiation. If we don't get fight uh, early, we will fighting with another guy. We, but you know, next year I um, I want to get title fights, but I don't know w w which month. 
you have a preference as to Klitschko first or David Hay? Do you have a preference? It doesn't matter, you know. I don't like a big angle fight, you know. I'm ready. Now, what, what, kind, what would you want to use differently from what you used with Michael Grant? You know, uh, I'm learning with Roger every day, you know, more move, uh, legs, head. Uh, I have to be uh, difficult to hit me, you know. I have to be fast, you know. It's, it's very important uh, with, uh, with heavyweight fights because every punch is heavy, yeah. Now I have my face is clean, you know. The sparring uh, is very good, you know. I'm really, you know, I'm happy. My career and my talent go up. Uh, this is a question for Roger. Roger, um, have you guys been studying any tapes of um, Matt alone or just studying the fighter himself? Sure. We, you know, when we took the fight, uh, you know, we knew Vinny would be a tough opponent. He always is. I watched him fight Mormack. I watched him fight Holyfield. Uh, his game plan is not a surprise. You know, he always comes forward, applies a lot of pressure, throws a lot of punches. So you're going to have to be in good shape. Uh, it's, I think it's necessary for Thomas to be able to handle that type of fight. Uh, that's why we're fighting him, because we know he's going to come to fight. My, my every fight is, uh, is a win, you know, my every fight. I want to win, and I win. But we, we have to wait in December 9. You know. If I'm uh, hit, I can uh, beat everybody, you know. Uh, what's been what's been his biggest improvement from last training camp to this one? Now, what, what's the biggest improvement you've seen working with him in this training camp? I think he's faster this this camp. So he's, he's a little more relaxed when he's throwing his punches, so he's faster, and his uh, his foot movement's a little bit better, you know, than it was. He's getting a little better each camp. You know, after this fight, we'll see how he performs in his fight, and then we'll assess where he is. What's your assessment, Roger, of where he's at right now with the head movement? And you mentioned to me last time that you want to add a little bit more pop to his punch going into this fight. Well, look, the only way you can get more pop uh, is with speed. Mm -hmm. And he's definitely faster in this, in this fight, so I think he's punching harder. Okay. Um, and in, my assessment is from from when, from the last fight oh, or from, from when the, I started? From the, from the press conference when I last spoke to you, you said you wanted to focus on adding a little bit more... Like yeah. to, and focus a little bit more on moving on his head. Yeah, yeah, moving his head a little bit more. His head and defense, get, you know, uh, hit and not get hit. Simple as that. So I think he's, he's coming along. You know, he's doing it in here. We'll see if he can do it in the fight. Okay. Uh, there's rumors around about, you know, circulating all over the place about the Roy Jones Jr. fight for March. Um, is, can, you, can you comment about that or anything? Uh, I've read them too. Um, obviously, that's an option that's out there, and it's being explored just like all the other options that are out there for him. Okay. Why, why Bo Jones? Because Tomas apparently met him at the fight, and they decided they'd like to fight each other. No, oh, that's it? <laughs> so I was told. Um, well, that was good. You know, you know it, look, if, if, if the option is find another Michael Grant, then you're not alone, type fighter. And Roy Jones, I absolutely 100% agree. He's right. just as good as any other one. Some people Better. say because he has a style almost similar to David Hay. It's, look, again, it is a, it is the next best alternative to being on HBO or being in a big fight with a champion. And if those things don't materialize, it's certainly a very viable option. It is not done now. It is not. That, that, you know, that's kind of where the disconnect is. I was being asked, is this fight made? And my answer was no. I was asked, have you negotiated with him? The answer was no, I hadn't. They said, did Ziggy negotiate with him? Apparently he had, but he hadn't decided to share that with me yet. So I didn't know. But now I know that he has. And um, again, if it turns out that that is the best option, that's what he'll do. Just choose who to tell. Well, what's he saying? Did he change? Is it, has he got another story? I didn't hear what he said. No, no, that's good. That's good. You answered my question. That's real good. No, no, there's no other story to tell. Oh, good. That's good to hear. Okay, because you never know. Yeah, I'm actually saying it with New York Boxing Examiner. you maybe shed a little light on why the David Hay fights and Cisco fights have been harder to, to, to sign? Especially with David Hay. It's, it's been always hard to sign a, t sign a title fight, number one. But David Hay has not spoken to anyone else. I think I understand now what they were doing. David Hay went to England and fought a weak opponent because he was trying to prove something. He did 15 million on pay-per-view in, okay. in England. You know what? 
That's more money than the Klitschko's can generate in any one country. Okay. <laughs> That's more than they generate in their own country because of the TV deal they made. So what he's saying is, if you want to fight me, you have to come here. And you know what? He makes a pretty compelling argument. So we're ready to go to England anytime. Okay. Um, if, you know, I, I get it. That's the way. That, that's fair and that's right. Um, there's no way anybody's going to compete with the kind of money David Hay can do in England. So uh, I think, you know, he has, everybody criticized him. Everybody said, you know, what's he doing? Is he crazy? No, he's actually crazy like a fox. Um, they're, they're, he, he did something brilliant. So uh, he's now negotiating with the Klitschkos, and of course they're going to negotiate. His position, from what I understand, and this is just through the media, is that I brought in $15 million on my last fight in my country. You bring in 4 or $5 million in yours, that's all? So, you know what? I'm not going to split 50-50 with you. You keep Germany, I keep, which is what he's been saying all along. The Klitschkos are saying they want a 50-50 split. i got to tell you, I don't think they, they have any right to expect that. So, not, not, with, not when you look at those economics. Their management decided to keep him in Germany. They decided to completely destroy the, the pay-per-view market in the United States for him, which is leverage he would have had. They, there is, they, they have chosen not to do pay-per-view in Germany, but rather to, to work with a company that doesn't, doesn't distribute by pay-per-view. They have basically made their ability to earn. They put a ceiling on it, and, and that's, that's what they did. So they're going to have to live with it now. Hayes the guy in the driver's seat because the money is, 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 is where, you know, it's where the money is. So if they can't make a deal, and that will only happen if the Klitschko's bend tremendously in this situation, um, then, you know, the, I believe his next best alternative is Tomas, and he will be more than happy to go fight him in England. What do you think the likelihood of that happening is that, you know, that they move over with Klitschko and, and because of, they don't want to split the money? I, I don't, from what I know of the personalities involved and what I've read, I don't see any way they're making this fight right now. I, I could be wrong, and, and it would be great if I was wrong because that would be a great fight for boxing. I, I'm, you know, I'm not opposed to it. But I'm looking at it, you know, as a representative of a Demick and saying to myself, I think that... We have a real opportunity here because after fighting the Klitschko's, Ademic is the next biggest fight David Hay can be in. It's a guy his own size. It is the most, arguably the most competitive heavyweight fight that could be made on paper. And, and why not do it? We're willing to be completely reasonable here. <laughs> Good. Good answer. Thank you so much. Happy.